Radius enables you to create external appointment schedulers for your leads and clients to book appointments with you. Let's see how easy it is to set up. On the account level, go to Settings. I like to use this filter to find it. Appointment Scheduling. Edit. Click Add New Schedule. Choose the length of the meeting, the category. Let's select Open Enrollment Review. First availability for the day. Last availability for the day. We see here that it's using the account level time zone. Choose the days of the week to offer that availability. Choose how many days you want to offer this appointment scheduler for. For example, some people want to do this one time only, so 365 days. But others might want to have a limited schedule, perhaps for special open enrollment hours, limiting it for perhaps two months. Create a link name. Let's choose Open Enrollment Review for this appointment scheduler. No spaces or special characters here as you're creating a URL for the website address. The sales blurb lets you tell your leads and clients what to expect from this meeting and any information you want them to have prior to the meeting. So let's tell them what documents to bring the instructions can be, we'll call you at the appointment time or log in to your meeting at Dialpad or Zoom. This confirmation page allows you to have a confirmation landing page, which I'll show you in the more in-depth part of this video. Determine which users will be part of this appointment scheduler. Hit Submit Settings. You can create other calendars here or have agent level appointment schedulers in account, my information, appointment scheduling. Add a new schedule and it's just the same as I showed you with the exception of the user selection. Okay, let's dive in deeper. Remember way back when I said we selected that category? Well, admins can customize the categories in settings, Task and Reminders Categories. Make sure that any categories that would conflict with your availability are marked as busy. For example, out of office, break, internal meeting, etc. Let's now look at landing pages where you can build that confirmation success page. Click Landing Pages. Click Add New Landing Page. For the description, Let's name it Appointment Confirmation. For the path, which will become part of the URL, let's enter APPT underscore confirmed. Again, no spaces nor special characters can be used for these paths. Create the body of the page. This is just like the email template creation, so I'm not gonna go into depth here, other than to say, remember to drag the content option to where it says drag content here. And if you're uploading images or documents, you have to click into the folder before you can upload or search for the photos. Create or save the page. Click on the path to see how it looks. You can go back in and edit anything you wanna fix. Now see how it says published and it currently says no? Click on the no to change it to yes. Copy the path, now go back to your appointment scheduling, edit the schedule and add the path to the confirmation page field. Let's click on our new link to see what the leader or the client will see. Note that if you have appointments booked already as busy in your Radius calendar, those times will be removed from the lead and the client options. 
Once a leader client confirms an appointment, the event will be put into your Radius calendar. Want to get really fancy? You can use appointment reminders to send out date, time, and location confirmation emails and send text messages to remind them of the details the day of their appointment. Just make sure you choose the same category as the original appointment. So in our OEP example, you would need to use the category of Open Enrollment Review to accurately trigger this appointment reminder. More details are in the Appointment Reminder video. You can add this appointment schedule to your email templates. Use the button option. I think that's the best one to use here. Drag that over. And then on the right hand side, you'll see that there are actions. Now you'll paste the URL of your appointment calendar into this little section here. Save any template changes. You also can have the agent level calendars in the signature line. So what you would do is go to settings. Go to Email, Columns, Calendar, and Other Settings. Go to Agent Fields and put in Appointment Calendar. Save the settings at the bottom of the page. Now, when you go into Account, My Information, you'll see the Agent field for the Appointment Scheduling link. Put that in. Save. Now you can do that for the other agents or anybody else on your team that you have access to. Now if you go back to those email templates in Drips, you'll see that you can add in to the signature line. You can see that you can use this merge tags in the WYSIWYG to then search for the agent custom field we created of appointment calendar link. Drop it in, and then you can always test this by going to Send Sample, clicking on that link, and here you can see we can click on this link and it goes to the schedule, and also on this signature link. So now that we're in what the leader or the client would experience. Let's click on one of these available times. Book it. If the leader or the client is already in your CRM, the task will be added to their record. If they are not found by name in the system, they will be created as a new lead. The notes will show that they were created by appointment generation. Appointment reminders will also trigger if set up properly. To push these appointments into your Google or Outlook calendar, go to Account, My Information, Access, Sync, Choose the calendar to sync to. Then push all existing tasks and reminders to the calendar. Note that it's only a one-way sync from Radius to your outside calendar. More details can be found on our Calendar Sync Instructional. Get creative with your scheduling. A great tip is to have multiple options for scheduling so it shows that you're a bustling business, and it also helps refine the appointment need for the client. You can utilize your calendar links on your website, in your email campaigns, in Facebook ads, and more.